हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन सेट रिलेशन फंक्शंस टिल आई हैव टॉक अबाउट द सेट्स सबसेट्स ऑपरेशंस ऑन सेट्स ऑन द इन कार्टेशियन प्रोडक्ट ऑफ सेट द रिलेशन रिफ्लेक्सिव रिलेशन सिमेट्रिकल रिलेशन ट्रांजिटिव रिलेशन एंड द रिलेशन व्हिच इज रिफ्लेक्सिव सिमेट्रिक ट्रांजिटिव व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज इक्विवेलेंस रिलेशन वी हैव आल्सो प्रूव्ड दैट एवरी इक्विवेलेंस रिलेशन on the name to set x defined on set x defines a partition of that set and conversely every partition gives rise to some equivalence relation defined on it today we'll take uh, more examples on equivalence relations okay so the first example let uh, n be positive integer n greater than 1 be fixed positive integer if i take n greater equal 1 doesn't matter then for ab belongs to z for ab belongs to z A is related to B if A minus B is divisible by n. A minus B is divisible by n. This is equal to A minus B is multiple of multiple of n. Equal to A minus B is equal to n k. For some k belongs to chain. Two integers are related. Two integers are related if their difference is multiple of n. Difference is divisible by n. Is it clear? So that, so that this the relation. This relation is. Equivalence relation on Z, relation on Z, find describe equivalence classes. Equivalence classes. So, what to check whether this relation is reflexive, symmetric, transitive, etc. Solution. First, reflexivity. Means what is sure that every integer is related to itself. Okay. Means it is it is multiple of n. That we have to show. So for any a belongs to for any a belongs to Z. A minus a is equal to zero, and this is zero is nothing but zero into n. Zero into n is it clear? So a minus a is multiple of zero, or you can write if it is just task, it is divisible by n. Then you can write zero is divisible by n. Zero is divisible by n, right? So employees, employees. A is related to A, and there is no any restriction for any choice of A, and therefore this is the reflexive relation. Reflexive relation. Second, symmetry. Let A be belongs to Z be such that B such that. A is related to B. For symmetry, we have to show that whenever A is related to B, then B must be related to B. B must be related to A. Then A minus B is equal to n k for some k belongs to Z. If you write in terms of divisibility, A minus B divisible by n, then n divides A minus B. And therefore, a minus b is multiple of n, and then you will get this step. 
okay now i am taking equivalence step for that di directly and therefore b minus a is equal to n into minus k for minus k belongs to z therefore b is related to a thus a related to b implies b is related to a for any a belongs to z whenever we take any two elements in z such that a is related to b then b must be related to z and therefore this relation is symmetric relation on z now we have to check whether it is transitive or not so simple task third transitivity so let abc belongs to z b three integers such that a is related to b and b related to c what that implies is that differences are divisible by n means they are multiples of n okay therefore a minus b is equal to some multiple of n that is n k 1 b minus c is equal to n k 2 or some k 1 k 2 belongs to z or some k 1 and k 2 belongs to z this now a minus c i can write it as a minus c is equal to a minus b plus b minus c but a minus b is same as n k 1 and uh, b minus c is n k 2 so this is nothing but n into k 1 plus k 2 pair This k one plus k two is also integer. So this implies this a minus c is multiple of n because it is integral multiple of n. Okay, and therefore a is related to c. Thus a related to b, b related to c implies this a is related to c. And therefore this relation is transitive relation. on z from 1 to 3 it is reflexive symmetric 1 2 and 3 okay i have given this numbering till there is equivalence relation on z once it is equivalence relation then we will find out their equivalence classes we have to describe equivalence classes equivalence classes for zero belongs to z equivalence class of zero which is denoted by this symbol or zero bar it is set up those x belongs to z such that x is related to zero means x belongs to z such that x minus zero is equal to n k and k belongs to z x minus 0 must be multiple of some n k which is nothing but n k where k value is z and this set is precisely if i put k equal to 0 i will get 0 here k equal to 1 i will get n k equal to 2 i will get 2n and so on on this side i will get minus n minus 2n and so on Is it clear? Remember, if n equal to one, if n equal to one, then equivalence class of zero is nothing but zero, one, two, minus one, minus two, and dot dot etc. If my choice of n is one, then <coughs> x minus zero is equal to One into x, one into x, right? So your free integer is multiple of one. Your free integer is multiple of one. Is it clear? So your free integer must lie in equivalence class of zero there. Equivalence class of zero. And in that case, if I have n is equal to one. Then equivalence class of zero will become 
0, 1, 2, minus 1, minus 2 and so on on this side. This is precisely said Z. Precisely said, said Z. And we know that every equivalence relation partitions the given set. Partitions the given set into equivalence classes. As just single equivalence class covers the whole set Z, whole set Z, so there is only one equivalence class. We also know that x belongs to or y belongs to equivalence class of x. If I only equivalence class of y is equal to equivalence class of y, uh, x. Means as for n equal to 1, equivalence class contain all integers. So, equivalence class of each integer is equivalence class 0. Is equivalence class 0. So, there is just single only one equivalence class uh, when n is 1. When n is 1. So, I am not taking n to be say 5 or 7, 8, 12 and so on. I am just taking any n greater than equal 1. So, if n is 1, there is just single equivalence class. So, I am not taking any restriction on that. If I take now 1, then it is equivalence class contains x belongs to z such that x is related to 1. Means x such that x minus 1 is equal to 2k, k belongs to z. And then this is nothing but x is equal to 2k plus 1, where k will be in z. Oh, sorry, x minus 1 is equal to nk here, not 2k. So, nk. Now, substitute again, k equal to 0, I will get 1, then k equal to 2, we will get 2n plus 1, right, 3n plus 1, and so on. On this side, it is for <coughs> k equal to 0, we are getting 1, k equal to 2, 2n plus 1, and so on. <laughs> Where is, uh, yes. What is uh, happening here? One is getting added here. One is getting added here. The next element is n. Sorry, k equal to 0. What I am getting for k equal to 0, it is 1. For k equal to 1, it is n plus 1. Sorry, n plus 1. For n equal to 2, 2n plus 1. And so on. On this side, minus n plus 1, minus n plus 2, minus 2n plus 1, and so on. If I take 2 now, if I take 2, similarly equivalence class of 2 is equal to, this middle element will become 2, then n plus 2, 2n plus 2 and so on. Here minus n plus 2, minus 2n plus 2 and so on. We will get this. Is it clear? Means just this is shifting by 2 there. And so on, if I take equivalence class of n, n minus 1, then I will get your here middle element will become n minus 1, 0 is getting added there. Then if I add n minus 1 here, n minus 1 plus n, that is 2n minus 1, n minus 1 plus 2n, 3n minus 1, and so on. On this side, n minus 1 
n minus 1 minus n. So it is minus 1 here. Okay. Then minus next element minus 2n minus 2n plus n minus 1. That is nothing but minus n minus 1. We will get this. Now if I take equivalence class of n. Equivalence class of n. See here. N is here, equivalence class of minus n, equivalence class of 2n, and so on. Equivalence class of 2n plus 1, second one, n plus 1. Is it clear? Equivalence class of minus n plus 1 is same like this. So if you observe here, it contains 0, then 1, 2, n minus 1, next element, central element will become n there, n, is it right? And then in that uh, n, on this side, if you add minus n plus n, that gives us 0 again. This set is just repeating there. For next element n plus 1, we will get next set and so on. So here, Union of equivalence class of i, i is equal to 0 to n minus 1 is equal to z, is equal to z, is it right? And equivalence class of i, intersection equivalence class of z is phi for 0 less equal i less than z less equal n minus 1. Therefore, set of all equivalence classes set of all equivalence classes is nothing but 0, 1, 2 and so on n minus 1. Later on we are going to denote this by 0 bar, yes, 1 bar, 2 bar and so on n minus 1 bar. This set we are going to denote it by Zn. We will denote it by Zn symbol. Okay. For further study. Is it clear? <laughs> Next example. For a comma b belongs to z, a is related to b if a square plus b is even integer. A square plus b is even integer. If I take this one, okay, is tilde equivalence relation. If so, describe equivalence classes. So first, for for a belongs to Z. <coughs> a square plus a, a square plus a, I can write this as a into a plus 1, a into a plus 1 is product of two consecutive integer, is product of two consecutive integers in which one must be even one must be even and therefore a square plus a square into a plus a square plus a is equal to a into a plus 1 
मस्ट बी यूहन इज यूहन यूहन इंटीजर इंटू एनी अदर इंटीजर मस्ट बी यूहन इंटीजर ओके एंड देर फॉर ए इज रिलेटेड टू ए फॉर एनी ए बिलोंग्स टू जेड एंड देर फॉर टिल इज रिफ्लेक्सिव रिलेशन On J. You put a second. So symmetry. Let A B belongs to J. B such that B such that A is related to B. Therefore, A square plus B is even integer. Is an even integer. Therefore, a square plus b is equal to say two k. For some k belongs to J. As it is e one, therefore it is multiple of two. Now we have to check whether b square plus a is e one or not. So b square plus a is equal. To. I can write this via a square plus b square. So I can write. This is equal to b square plus a square plus b. I don't want a square and b here, so I will write it as in terms of uh, minus a square minus b minus a square minus b. Is it clear? If you take this number in this form, b square plus a. And uh, plus a, plus a. Then how will I write it? How we can write this? <coughs> If you see here, b square plus b. A square plus e and minus a square minus b. Okay, so I can write this as b square plus b, b square plus b plus a square plus a minus a square plus b. Is it right? See here. A square, A square get cancelled. This B, this get cancelled. Now, B square plus B is nothing but B into B plus one. This is nothing but A into A plus one. And this is your two K from one. Again, these are consecutive integers. Consecutive. Therefore, this is say two k one plus two k two minus two k for some k one k two belongs to Z, which is equal to two times k one plus k two minus k. Here, here k one plus k two minus k belongs to Z. Addition and subtraction is integer, and therefore b square plus a. Is even integer. Is even integer. Now, what to check whether it is transitive? Third, transitivity. So let A B C belongs to Z. We says that. A is related to B, B related to C. Then A square plus B, B square plus C are even integers. Therefore, A square plus B is equal to two k one, B square plus C is equal to two k two, or some k one k two belongs to Z. They are even. So we'll get this. Now a square plus c. 
for to write relate them via b square plus c right so i will write this as a square plus b a square plus b plus b square plus c so i am getting a square plus c here minus i want only a square plus c minus b plus b square minus b plus b square right so this is equal to 2k1 plus 2k2 minus b into b plus 1 again b into b plus 1 consecutive integers so one of them must be even so this is 2k1 plus 2k2 minus 2k for some k for some k belongs to z which is 2k1 plus k2 minus k and k1 plus k2 minus k belongs to z therefore a square plus c is e1 thus a related to b b related to c implies a is related to c and therefore it is transitive relation therefore tilde is transitive relation on j so from 1 2 3 1 2 3 this symbol is equivalence relation on j equivalence classes equivalence class of 0 is equal to set of a belongs to z such that a is related to 0 means your a belongs to z such that a square is even integer a square plus 0 is even integer what will be this set set of those a for which a square is even integer a square a is even integer if i take 0 square is 0 2 square is 4 4 square is 16 3 square is 9 1 square is 1 so a square is even means your a must be even number your a must be even is it right so it is nothing but set of even integers all even integers if i take equivalence class of 1 now a belongs to z such that a is related to 1 a belongs to z such that a square plus 1 is even so so this must be set of odd integers set of all odd integers now equivalence class of 0 union equivalence class of 1 is z and equivalence class of 0 1 are disjoint therefore these are only two equivalence classes under defined operation so in this lecture we have only uh, study two examples can uh, define so many equivalence relations on set of integers for your practice we'll take few more examples and uh, as equivalence class is important for us while studying the congruence relations on set that's why i have not talked about what is meant by anti symmetric relation 
So in next lecture, I will also introduce what is by anti-symmetric relation on site and with help of that anti-symmetric relation, I will also talk on partially ordered relation defined on set. So equivalence relation, partial ordered relation and we will uh, distinguish the two relations on sets. So with this discussion today we will stop here, stay at home, be healthy, good day, bye bye.